Good morning, everybody. Or some people who are on here uh, currently. How's everybody doing? Alright, alright. Good morning, good morning. Good, good to hear. Doing well. Very good. Oh, height. Alright. Standards are high for today. Uh, Alright, quick question. We added something new. I added something new this time. There is music in the background. I don't know if you can hear it because that little audio bar looks real low on my display here. So let me know if you can hear anything and or if it should be turned up. Oh, maybe it's new song right now. Alright, hang on. Alrighty. Is that a little better? In comparison to my talking? I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll leave it at that for now. Let me know. Okay. A little better, but not, not stellar. I don't know. Okay. Let me know if you guys uh, want me to turn this up or, you know, anything like that. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Oh, but okay. All right. Um, I had a thought this morning that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, you know, acrylic nails. So acrylic nails are like spoilers. For your fingers. I have never had acrylic nails. I've never had a spoiler on my car. So I don't know. Anyone out there who has had either and or both, let me know. Is that an accurate take? All right, random. Uh, <laughs> okay, do, do nails make you turn faster? Uh, Depend I ooh, I don't know. That's a hmm. Racing stripes. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I could see that. Alright, alright. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, let me let me get a quick little quick little drink. You've known a lot of classical guitarists who have had acrylic nails, like I don't know, long ones? I don't know if you can see that, it's pretty tiny on the screen, but, um, huh. Oh, okay, I could see that would make sense. It's like a, it's like a built-in guitar pick, maybe? I don't know, I have not played guitar, so. And not, not classically either, so. Ah, yeah. I could I could see that the nails the nails hurt a little yeah yeah hmm yeah I do I don't ever plan on getting them so I don't know <laughs> everything is a pun on Tuesdays everything is a pun that is the the rule of this stream <laughs> all right okay so recap on this little character guy for any new people or people who were not here last time. Um, so we've got this mood board here on the left, uh, six pictures, um, and the goal, idea, whatever, is to make a character based on those images. So what we came up with last time was this octopus who is a lumberjack uh, who rescued an astronaut. Uh, I think there was like some kind of crash or something. Uh, octopus rescued the astronaut and now he has aspirations to go to space. Um, yeah. So I did a little, oh wait, let me catch up on the chat here. Uh, if I missed anything. <laughs> I'm 
mean? They all right. They help you pick your guitar, not your nose. I assume they would be useful for both. Not that that would be an ideal use, but you know, they would probably be useful for both. Okay. Um. So I did a little bit of doodling with this guy, and so this was just the original. Um, just the original sketch, thought, sketch, uh, but I got on some paper and decided to change up his shape a little bit and give him a little more of a fun pose. So he is up on, he's up on this tree here. Um, he's still got his axe. I decided he needs to be wearing pants specifically because, I mean, I don't know forest people wear jeans i feel working forest people wear jeans that's what i see a lumberjack in um it's a little little difficult to you know move in jeans sometimes though so he's got jeggings so he's got the look but the flexibility uh you know he's he's doing his best there uh yeah uh yes yeah, so he has a burly chest um because I was looking at pictures of octopuses and they, I mean, they're kind of like skinny all the way through, but they have that, that shape kind of right after their head, face, nose thing. Um, yeah, so I decided to make them a little, a little wider up top. Give them more of a lumberjack shake. Shape, not shake. All right. Oops. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna refine this a little bit. What brush is this? That will be fine. Alright. Hmm hmm hmm. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I guess we'll just start going. Oh, also, I remembered that that these uh, let's give a little bit of that octopus have like those little um, ear nose things. I don't know. Um, I think. Didn't Frieza from Dragon Ball Z have these things too? I don't know. Little weird alien ears. Um, I think I have to put the NASA on the bottom of the cap here. All right. Cool. I'll just put the NASA in there, kind of hidden. I think his first, I thought his first form had those little ear things. Um, oh, let's see here. Snorks? Is that the, is that the official, the official word for these ear things? Um, I, I did not know that. Uh, maybe it is now. We can, we can do that. We can use that for now. Let's see, ears. They're alien secrets. Yeah, that that is a good place to keep alien secrets. I, I can see that. <laughs> yeah, I 
yeah, a lumberjack, I could just see, like, a lumberjack octopus, like, an axe in each hand, and then, like, just going through the forest, like, spinning, you know, Tasmanian devil style. Just, like, a machine. Give him kind of a flat head. He's got that brow right there. having a difficult time with his eyes? I don't know. I feel like their eyes are kind of weird. Looking at that picture there. That guy's got squinty eyes. But... Hmm. Maybe... I don't know. This guy's not a squinty eye guy, though. His eyes have hope and um, aspirations and something, something else in them as well, probably. Also, octopuses don't really have a chin. So, he's just, that's his, nope, all right, we'll come back to the mouth. He doesn't need a mouth for now. He's not saying anything anyway. And they've got those weird rectangle, rectangle eyes. He's looking up towards the starry sky. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. He's pushing up his hat. With this little, this little arm. shaky shaky hands this early in the morning I only had one cup of coffee so I wasn't expecting my hands to be this shaky but you know what it's early in the morning um, oops eh. Good enough, because we're definitely gonna do another pass of lines, I think. I just wanted to tie down the sketch a little bit, a little bit more. Um, this would actually just be hanging like that. See, those coffee shakes, they're probably not good for you, but, you know, it's just, it's just a, a facet of life, so what are you going to do about it? I mean, you can't... What? Don't drink coffee? Not, not an option. Not an option. Just got a couple of little buttons. Maybe we'll do... That. Okay. Ooh. Why? Okay. It doesn't. I don't think my cursor keeps switching, or it keeps switching over to the move tool in the middle of using the brush tool. I don't know 
why that's happening. If anybody knows why that, I don't think I'm hitting a key either. Uh, but if anybody has any ideas of why that may be happening, I would love to hear them. Um, yep. There we go. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Also, I did not double check if any of his arms and or legs were the same length, so we're gonna just hope they are or, you know, if it looks good, we're sticking with it. That's, that is the, the way. Um, let's see. Does that look good? How is this little thing gonna be? I think I like that, all right. Okay, hang on. I'm missing a little bit of chat. I apologize. I'm catching up. Uh, putting pants on an octopus would be super difficult. I could see it in like some sort of weird Olympics. Could be one of the events, one of the, the things. Um, arms and legs. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. You would just have to arbitrarily pick which are the arms and which are the legs and go for it. Um, <laughs> okay, I don't know. I mean, if I could probably, let's see. I don't know if I, if I like the shakes. I mean, if I, I could probably learn to incorporate the coffee shakes into a specific art style and then, you know, um, have it be beneficial to me that way, but uh, I don't know. Um, I'm not leaning on my keyboard. Um, my keyboard is like off to the side here. Uh, I mean, no, that's not, I was thinking maybe, maybe my hand is resting on a specific button, but I pressed a couple of those. That shouldn't do anything. I'll keep, I'll keep an eye on it. Um, hello, hello, Cartoon Katie. An octopus would just slide into the plant, the pants, no problem. I mean, oh yeah, for sure he could make it into just one, one leg. But here's the thing, that octopus is not going to go into those pants if he doesn't want to. So the trick would be, how do you get the octopus to want to go into the pants? That is the question. Uh, yes, um, here for cheese, true. Yeah, the octopus are a liquid. That, yeah. Um, where did you get your inspiration photos for the prompt? So, um, uh, I have a group of, group of friends and we do um, we do like fun little art things every once in a while. Um, the last art thing we did was kind of an exquisite corpse style comic or a, I forget what the actual name for it is, but one person draws the first panel or the first page and the next person only gets to see the, the page before them and continues the comic for there, from there. Um, so yeah, this time we decided to do a mood board character. And so each of us contributed one photo and we just threw it all together. And then that was our, that was our inspiration there. Yeah. So, um, if your hands shake at a high enough frequency, it's, uh, it'll be like they're still. Yeah, that, uh, I could see that. All right, 
Let's get back to this guy. Oh. Hmm. All right, everything still looks good. Thought I was pressing stuff again. All right. Oops. much what an axe looks like, right? <laughs> Close enough. I think that's a little too... Oh, there it goes again. There we go. Good enough. Everybody knows what, what this is. All right. Um, all right, we've got another... Hmm. Maybe we'll get our tree set in there. Perfect. All right. Oh, these cuffs, okay. some of his arms are definitely longer than the rest but you know with that whole thing of of octopi being a liquid I don't think it really matters you know all right he's got his other cup there excellent Fantastic. Cool. This arm has to be kind of there. Maybe he needs to be a little, a little beefier up here. There we go. That'll do. <laughs> Probably got wrinkles in the clothing and or something. All right. Oops. Uh... Jagging stretchy fabric in there. All right, I am unable to see what I am doing. Hang on here. Maybe. All right. Okay, that is the way that should go. Oh, I think I decided to make that one swirly. Fantastic. <laughs> Alright, he's got his 
other leg. We don't really see it. Okay. I'm not losing track of the chat here. Good morning, good morning, welcome. New channel on the Discord. Who made the octopus their shirt? Um, his mother. Yep, because there are no other lumberjack octopuses. His mom was like, I gotta uh, knit you a plaid shirt. I don't, I don't think you knit. Anyway, she knitted him his lumberjack shirt. That is the official, official statement. So it keeps him warm. Um, lumber pod i like that oh is this a food a food channel on the discord nice 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 I don't think you can necessarily cut jeggings like this, but he found a way. Um, he's gonna do it anyway. Thank you for being Alright. Alright, one leg done. This other one behind him here. Okay. Oh. Can't forget the legs. Okay. Fantastic. Oh man, what is this guy's mouth gonna look like? Um, oh, he's also got his little mustache. I'm gonna leave that for now. Gotta, I'll paint it on or something since technically his mustache is just a camouflage part of his skin so he can blend in with the other lumberjacks. It is not actually a mustache, not a hair mustache. Um, Apologize on that. All right. I think neat. Okay, that is it's looking looking not half bad. All right. All right. No more tracing over sketches. I'm gonna find a good brush, non-sketchy brush, and we're gonna. Perhaps get this looking like a finalized something something. Ooh, some of the brushes. Mm, hmm, inking, maybe just these. Let's see what this looks like. That looks halfway decent. All right. How big do we want this? No. Oh, 
no thank you i did not want that Ooh, how do i hmm what in fact did i press hang on here there we go This will be easier. Hmm. That looks fine. Okay. I think I am going to make his hat a little longer, though. Let's see. Ketchup. Oh, thank you. Uh, his eyeballs, you like his eyeballs, fantastic. I was a little worried about those, so thank you. Um, good morning, good morning. What can't you do with jeggings? That's, uh, that is a good, yeah, I mean, that's, that's what the J, E, and jegging stands for, just everything. Uh, all right, let's get back to this guy here. Ooh. He's slightly, there we go. All right, all right. How does a hat? That little part. Hmm. There we go. Um, should I leave the NASA? For last, Oop. that's not how a hat curves. Looks like the inside of a hat? Sure. Hmm. Alright, hang on here. Maybe it'll just be a small. Actually, how do you center text? Let's draw the middle letters first. a little bigger than the other I don't know maybe how many of you have heard the phrase uh, eyebrows are sisters not twins maybe the same is true for eyes 
do they have to be exactly even? Probably not. That eye looks a little funky, but you know what? He's like an octopus, so he's just got those eyes. Ugh. There we go. Sisters, okay, yeah, there you go. Heard it here first, then. Sisters, not twins. Eyebrows. Mm. Yeah, yeah, all right. Cardinal sin to have anything twinning in animation. That is true. Maybe they just made that rule up so that they didn't have to, you know, draw things the same. I don't know. They're like, no, it's the rule. It it's it looks like that on purpose. Okay, Disney, if you say so. Or other animator people. Alright. Fantastic. Um, maybe almost there we go oh his scarf I didn't put his scarf on hmm you know he's he's far too busy his mother is gonna be so unhappy that he forgot his scarf today at work. Mm. No, the other tentacles like get smaller as they, I think they get up. This little thing out of the way. Oh, that 100%. I did not want to do that. All right. There we go. He's like tipping his hat. That's not an ideal line. part of a line and then you don't like the rest of the line and then it's like oh why can't everybody just do what I want them to do but you know what we figured it out all right hmm oh man Hang on, we'll get this perfect curve. There we go. Fantastic. Hmm. Maybe I gotta get one of those one of those gloves. My hand seems like it's sticking on the screen a little bit. Yeah. Okay. We're 
done with that arm, we're not gonna touch it anymore. Too big. There we go. They seem like they're unevenly spaced, but you know what? This was a hand hand knitted uh, lumberjack shirt. So to be expected. Oh dear. There we go. There we are. look more like that or there we go that will probably do yeah Ugh. The shirt, okay, is the shirt gonna look like the Turkish rug or, and or, how do I plan on incorporating the textures from the mood board? Well, the scarf, the scarf that he had before was going to be, what was that gonna be the texture of? Maybe that was gonna be the rug texture. But, um, now uh we'll have to see let me let me take a little, little break from that right now uh let's see okay textures all right all right so we got let me just make sure i have all the all the things here we got the octopus we have the space with the nasa thing we have the trees because he's a lumberjack. Um, uh, I think we had talked about last time using the peach pit texture kind of look. Because uh, sometimes octopus have uh, 
like rings on them. So maybe that. Hmm. Typically lumberjacks have plaid, but oh, um, I'll put a question mark on that one. But since this was hand knitted, it could be the texture of the rug. So that might be a good thing to put there. Um, and then probably this like makeup palette looking texture thing. Hmm. Either his hat or maybe that can be on the handle of the axe or something. Possibly. Maybe. Hmm. We'll feel it out a little bit as we get closer to hopefully completing this. There we go. arms I think 90% of digital art is just command Z control Z Tripod. Is Tripod enjoying the the stream? Does uh Does Tripod like calamari? Okay. Oh, alright. That actually alright, happy with that line. Um, let's get these out of the way. Where am I going to draw the cuffs for these jeggings? Okay.
Tripods drooling over the lumberjack octopus. Love it. That is that is what I want my art to, uh, you know, the kind of reaction I want from my art. Perfect. Fantastic. That looks like it'll do. Ugh. There we go. Got this little piece here. Yeah. his legs would be connected if we're anatomically correct but who who is hmm let's actually maybe move this down a little bit Kind of lines up. Give him long, long legs. Oop. All right, all right. That at least looks a little more like some legs match the others. service for cats for sure all right color the background before the characters oh absolutely not because who even knows if there's gonna be a background with this um, backgrounds Ew. why do I mean who even who even does backgrounds? We don't need a background. I prefer not to do backgrounds in short, mostly because I just have zero practice with them. Um and I think if done properly, you know, a background in itself can almost be like a whole separate character because there's just so much, so much thought that has to go into designing it. Ugh, yeah. All right. Fantastic. 
There we go. Also, fun fact, um, this lumberjack's mother also made him this axe. She is a multi, multi-faceted, multi-talented woman. I think we're going to go um, kind of like... Spongebob style here in that his mom is not an octopus. Um, yeah. I have no idea what she would be to be so talented as to be able to knit and hand make an axe. She is a talented woman. That looks just about right. Ah. Hmm. There we go. I'm going to finish this handle and then I might take a little drink of some liquid. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Like Tarzan and Kala. Yeah, yeah. Yep, the mom is, I don't know if I can technically say that on the live stream, but that, the, the mom is fantastic. For sure, the more arms and legs thing would be more useful. Um, but here's a thought, they don't necessarily have to be the, the person's own arms and legs. Um, you know. That, there's, I don't know, random thought to throw out there for consideration. The octopus does not knit. Um, his, his goal, he chops trees and studies for going to space. And the mom supports this. That is the, um... I think to an extent. I think sometimes she worries, you know, that the whole space thing isn't exactly like... Ugh. Isn't exactly gonna happen, but she's not gonna tell him. Or, oh, that sounded, that sounded mean. She's not gonna, you know, she's gonna support his dreams for as long as it's safe to do so yeah if it uh, man. oh man there are just some lines you don't like i wonder if i could just for a minute there we go all right hang on here uh, so my hand was was getting a little sweaty and catching on the screens on the screen. I do have a post-it note stack under my hand just for a quick little little minute in case any of you were curious on what I was doing. Oh, there we go. That's a decent line followed by a not decent line. Um, let's go ahead and get this 
thing. There's other legs here. I mean, I don't want his legs to be too straight, but they have to, oh, there. All right, all right. We can live with that. I feel like jegging cuffs would be probably a little smaller, possibly, than what I had them at. There we go. This little overshot, excellent, okay. Ah, oh, man, I didn't put cuffs on. And those feet, legs. That's not, there we go. Okay, all right, he's gotta have his little, little jegging cuff. Let's put it maybe here. I have a glove, Megan. Um, I have to find it. Yeah, I don't know exactly where it is, but I think I still have it. And I think it's a cool glove. No promises. Ugh. Blah. Hang on here. Ah. <sighs> I had forgotten. Oh, um, that this is not just a straight little line like that. Okay, let's. That's kind of the thing we want there. That'll do, that'll do. And the cuff for the other leg would be on the other side. Fantastic. All right, so there's our character. I'm gonna paint his mustache on later. I'll put a little reminder here for a mustache. Mm, and the tree. Let's put it on possibly a different layer. That sounds smart. That sounds like I know what I'm doing. All right. Make the tree a little bit bigger. Oh, oh thank you. Okay. Ooh, that was a fun thing that Photoshop did. All right. post-it note trees can be lumpy so it doesn't necessarily have to be Ooh. but that is not all right hang on here let's try this again because I want it 
to overlap with them just a little. Fantastic. Just making sure. Let's go ahead and name this. Get out of this a little bit. Yeah, that'll do. Want it to be that lumpy, please. All right, all right, that looks good. And I think I wanna move this arm a little bit. Where's my, there it is. Oh, hmm. All right, we'll fix that in a minute. Hang on here. that in there. that out of there. All right. Mm. Okay. I think that looks just about right. He's looking okay. He's looking pretty good. What kind of tree is this? Uh, it possibly could be a birch tree. Um, it's very, very skinny, but I don't think octopus are like that heavy. So he's, he's safe. He's secure. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, easily derailed, yeah. I mean, when you have the world at your fingertips. Thank you, Megan. I will let you know, uh, yeah, if, if I've got, or yeah, I'll just, I'll, if I can't find it, I'll, I'll pick up a glove or something. Unless it's a Wacom branded glove, then yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be sweet. All right. Um, cool. Okay. Coloring, maybe. Hang on. Uh, actually, that should be fine. Coloring is my least favorite thing because it can go so wrong so fast. But we'll do it. Um, that would actually be behind. That's all right. All right, we'll we'll get to it. I feel like this hat is missing something. I know there's like oh, it's missing the rest of the thing. Is what it's missing. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe is that what a hat looks like? I 
think that's what a hat looks like, generally, how it attaches to the thing. Listen, alright, the hat is handmade as well. Um, it's just a little... There we go. That looks a little more hat-like. Um... Mm -hmm. Wrinkles, I don't know. How to how to close? Good enough. That looks like something that maybe should be happening in fabric. To that so we're not gonna do it all right all right hmm all right I'm gonna quit stalling I just have to decide what kind of color we're doing and I'm gonna unceremoniously clean all that junk up so I don't have to look at it put a bunch of layers there Why did the octopus cross the road to get to the other tide? I love it. We're late in the stream to be coming out with these octopus jokes, but I'm, I support it and I encourage more of it. The tree is oct octopied. Hang, hang on, hang on. That was a good one. That was a good one. I just have to read it correctly. Octopied. I like it. The octopus there, does this make it a great tree? Wait, hang on. My brain's gonna catch up to that one. I'll get that one, I promise. Maybe I won't. I'm sorry. Oh, hang on. Megan says, okay, Wacom only does technology. Well, listen, that could be a problem. We gotta start doing gloves. We have to. It makes sense, I think. All right, all right. No more stalling. I'm gonna pick a brush to paint with. Ooh, I don't wanna paint. Hmm. Maybe I can just drop flat color in there? How do I feel about flat color? Flat color is fine. Hello, hello! Welcome! Welcome to the stream! Welcome to uh, Lumberjack Octopus Day. Um, Hmm. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna drop some flat color in places. Maybe. All right, I apologize to you all out there because this is probably gonna be very very painful to watch for people who oh, know how to color. So. Um, Bear with me. Oh, 
wonder if it would be faster. Let's try. Oh yeah, much faster there. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, uh, yep, hang on. All right, all right, all right, got it, got it. will be fine. Is the end of this cat? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. All right, hang on. I'm gonna catch up with the chat because I know I missed. I'm missing some stuff. <laughs> Does this octopus have a twin brother? Um, hmm. I don't know. Um, hmm. My first answer, my first thought was no. 
but then my, my brain was like, yes, and this twin brother is already in space. And he doesn't know it, so it's a long lost twin brother, and so when he gets the sp you know, gets to space, finally, he will get there. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's a thing of NASA sends him to um, make first contact with an alien species, and then he gets there and he realizes, dang, this is just my twin brother. So there we go. Long lost twin brother. Identical twins. Uh, yeah, that was good. That was good. All right. Flat color, perfect. Cause that's, that's what we're going to be. That's what we're going to be doing. How many times do you need to poke an octopus to make it laugh? 10 tickles. That was a good one. That was a pretty good one. It does work. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Definitely works. I support it. Fine. I should have uh, taken away the tree before I started this. That's all right. Also, guys, how is, how is the music, how, yeah, how's the music level? Is it, like, good background noise, um, while I'm being pretty, pretty quiet here? Like, is it enough to fill that empty void? Um, sweet. Levels are great. All right. Fantastic. Probably a little too too close, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. All right, almost done, and then hopefully it'll start getting kind of kind of fun in a minute here. Okay.
Alright. So I think how this works is you throw that in there. You can either just paint on that or hmm, I could probably also just do a layer with a mask on it. I told you, I apologize. Coloring is going to be painful because I don't do a whole lot of it and I like to do the easiest way possible to make sure I don't color outside the lines or don't have to go back and, you know, do that thing redo anything. All right, we're gonna leave that like that, I think, or bring the tree opacity down. <laughs> yeah, coloring is an art all on its own. That is true. Um, all right, we'll do both for now, in case I decide I wanna do something else, cause I wonder if you can, I wonder if I can just that's okay. Yeah, no. And I know you're not supposed to do color all on one layer. Well, uh, we'll see how this goes. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. If I can just maybe I'll just do that. I'll just paint in the lines and then all right. Um, we'll do we'll do his jeggings first. Nope, I lied. We're gonna do the axe first because that should be the easiest color should be i say this and watch it's gonna be So get that shiny, shiny edge. All right, I know you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to add light and shading and that stuff until after. All right, so we'll get our base colors in. Our ax handle, what are we gonna be looking at? Probably, let's just maybe find something that looks maybe woody. Maybe something like that. Um, I want it to be maybe a little darker. And this. for now. Oh man. All right, 
jeggings. Maybe he kind of sticks to a bit of a traditional blue, but because they're jeggings, they probably have this weird, a little bit purple to them. That looks good. All right. Ooh. Actually, let's name that. Oh no, I wanted to do something here. Get rid of this. There we go. <laughs> Wonder. These jeggings go all the way up. I'm just gonna color jeggings all the way all the way up to that shirt. Nope. All right. I got to Jeggings. Did that must have. All right. Boom. Oh, I missed something. Hang on. <laughs> oh, this definitely this. a bit lighter. shirt okay this shirt is gonna have the texture or the the pattern of this rug I think we're gonna make make the base color something hmm somewhere in there possibly Make it a little pinker. Cool. All right, back in we go.
have been. Okay. See, I put that mask on there and then I totally forgot that I did it and I'm still being super careful going around the outside there. Let's see if we can speed that up a little bit. Buttons are going to be black. Does that make sense? That one's our last little color. Okay. little lighter than that. That looks good. Okay, his NASA hat. Let's see. We say pink and it was like super, super, super pink. I think the cap is super pink. Where is our jeggings? There's that jegging color. Maybe a good good blue color. Maybe to be blue blue but I don't want it to be too close to that other there we go the purple there all right and then his eyes were this super super orangey yellow thing oh, let's go ahead and do a little cap and then we'll darken that up for his eyes Just 
go ahead and give him black eyes for now because that's what the reference picture has. Whoops. Hmm. I don't really like that. Give him red eyes. I don't think blue eyes would be. Hmm. Maybe purple. Purple could work. Kind of a purple. Purple gray. That'll do. Alrighty. Oh, the axe handle is almost the same color as his shirt. Oh, man. Hmm. Alright, different color then. Let's make it a little more orangey and make it quite a bit lighter maybe I don't like that much orange I don't think that looks like sure all right we'll go with that for now <laughs> all right what is the base color gonna be this octopus's skin all right let me catch up on the chat I know I've seen some of those things going by there oh I see a couple of hydrate things redeemed all right all right two hydrates um, if someone wanted to participate in the character design challenge could they sure yeah um, we I mean really if we wanted to do one we could kind of just do we could do one a week and if you guys wanted to draw along with this I can just post the uh, I, can we start one in the discord make a um, a channel for that uh, if you guys wanted we could yeah we could start a, a channel in the discord and do do a character design thing there um, or if you guys wanted to I mean I don't know yeah I'm totally down for that um, oh yes and this is not a specific character design challenge going around right now just um, just a group of friends um, wanted to do something you know just you know yeah wanted to do something so we threw this together um, cool yeah um i don't know megan can i create a, a channel on the discord uh if i can i will otherwise maybe Maybe that could get set up somehow and then I can post to it. That could work. Um, yeah, whatever would be easiest. I do have to actually get on Discord. I've opened it several times, but I'm not... I 
haven't actually really been on there, so I'll get I'll get better on that. Um, okay. What? All right. So the reference octopus. I mean, really, they can be any any color based on the colors we've got going on here. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. I mean, if he's, I don't know, as a lumberjack, do you want to blend in with your surroundings or do you want to like stand out from your surroundings? I would think it's the same kind of rule as, or thing as hunting, you know, you don't, you wear a safety something so so you don't get mistaken as a deer or moving animal or something um i don't even know what lumber company he works for maybe all of the maybe he would just change his skin to to be the color of the company hmm 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 there's a lot of colors going on right now. Not a lot of colors. It's not a lot. It's kind of in the same, same realm. Hmm. <laughs> I do kind of want to keep it in in the same in the same color scheme here hmm could be an all right color I think if not we will change it I'm gonna start at his little beats
soon we need to do that. Did we get everything? Yes, we did. Fantastic. Oops. Mm, there we go. Alright. He's looking pretty good, I think. I think he's looking pretty decent. Oh, hang on. I missed some I missed some puns. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> All right. Thank you here for cheese for making the getting to work on that that uh character design in the Discord. Um black all right. All right. Excellent. Young cheese of the Twitch stream. I love it. <laughs> um, Private Corp or Mega Corp? Um, hmm. Hmm. Who does he work for? Who does he work for? I had it in my head that he worked for kind of just a, a big a big megacorp um but honestly i think this is a this is a a two-man show it's um a lumber company owned by one guy who provides the lumber for the nearest town and that's it no lumber to anybody else just lumber for the for the town they're in um also the guy who owns the lumber company is really too old to be chopping trees so the octopus chops down the the trees and then the old man comes along and like chops off all the little the twig branches on the trees so you know uh it works out it works out um i could do a wait a poll uh, I apologize, I'm a little behind on this. A poll for the Discord or a poll for what kind of corporation he works for? <laughs> I love all these cheese puns. It, I won't I won't read through them again because I know you guys have probably been keeping up with with you know reading the chat as it comes through but this craft single and ready to mingle uh i, I mean craft single i can relate to ready to mingle oh i don't know about i don't know about that yet just keep me in my plastic wrap i'll i'll stay here for a little longer um Marley chat you oh man you're reading hello welcome I'm so glad this is awesome this is very fun um cool hi yep here we are um wow we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go raid uh your your stream one of these days cool cool all right uh am I almost caught up I am caught up Ah, the mysterious Marley chat. Oh, sweet. Wow. Yes, I do. I do have long hair now. And it's, I mean, yeah, it's like down to the, down to the middle of my back. I, yeah, it's, it's getting, getting wild. Still got the shave sides though, but they're getting, getting a little long. That's why I got the hat on today. <laughs> How are you guys? How have you been? Uh, all right, all right. What's the next set of colors? 
<laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, for for all of the uh, the raid people who just came over, here's a quick catch up on on this character and what's going on. Uh, so we have the the set of pictures on the left, um, kind of like a mini mood board, and the goal is to design a character based on those images. So. What we came up with on the last stream was um, a lumberjack octopus who has, who had rescued an astronaut from space, not from space, an astronaut who was in space. I'm assuming there was a crash, you know, maybe he, he parachuted out, got stuck in a tree. Octopus saved him. Now this octopus guy has uh, dreams of going to space. Um, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Um, yeah, he's wearing jeggings. That was a very important thing. I mean, because lumberjacks, they, they wear jeans, but jeans are really hard to move in. So jeggings have that look without, um, without the movement restriction. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I've been pretty good uh you know kind of just chilling through the whole chilling through quarantine and and i'm here now so yeah doing pretty good uh, cool, cool, cool. cool all right so base color is done hmm now i have to start doing things like patterns or something um, cause there's a couple of patterns that we need to kind of incorporate. So we gotta get, hmm. let's see. All right. The, the big ones that I'm trying to figure out. So we got octopus, we got space. This color here, or this pattern there, I was thinking... I wasn't. I lied. I wasn't thinking. I don't know where that one's gonna go. Uh, I forget what I, I forget exactly what I said. The pattern of this rug is gonna go on his shirt. Um, oh, another important detail. So his shirt is handmade. It was knitted by his mother. That's why it's not exactly plaid, but it, you know, it works for the, the lumbering thing. And then this peach color, um, or this peach nectarines, uh, plums, whatever stone fruit they are. Um, I was thinking of putting that pattern like on his little head there, but probably what if I made, what if I made his eyes? Those would probably be pretty creepy eyes. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see what they look like real quick. Um, so the pit color is kind of like this pale orangish. Hmm. All right, let's do that. Oh no, we're on the wrong layer. There we go. Boop, boop. And then... The outside, or the, the meat of the fruit was kind of this thing. And then... There were... It's kind of like... Vein... Things coming out from yeah see I think this is gonna look a little too freaky I don't know 
this we're not we're not sticking with this if this is the final or if this is the color choice there I just want to see what it looks like real quick hmm maybe maybe that'd be all right hmm make it a little less freaky just a tiny bit less freaky uh, hmm. this is probably why he likes to work alone because you know there's probably gonna be like if he worked at a lumbering megacorp those other lumberjacks would definitely make fun of him i feel wonder if i should give him See, this is why he's the perfect candidate to go to space, you know? He, even more so, looks like an alien. Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, NASA is gonna hit the, the jackpot when they, when they pick this guy up. Alright, I know I said I was making them less kind of horror movie kind of thing, but I, I don't think they, I think they still look pretty, pretty gnarly. But that's what we're sticking with because that seems like a pretty easy solution to getting that, that, uh, that texture in there. Boom, done. Fantastic. Oh man, I really don't want to draw that rug pattern. How did I miss so many things? Oh, am I? I'm on the line again. For sure. There we go. All right. Not on the line layer. Excellent. There we go. Hmm. I wonder if wonder if I accidentally moved everything over, like, just a little bit. Because that's what it seems like happened. I don't know. Hmm. Alright, we'll do cleanup later. Get these textures in here or and or patterns let's draw his mustache his mustache was supposed to be this gold color So no. All right, hang on. No, 
not quite it's got to be centered over his mouth hang on let's just draw this good little mustache and then we'll worry about putting it on him ah Maybe I should move his mouth down a little bit, or I should probably move his mouth down a little bit. I wonder how far up on his face he would put his mustache. he would like move his mustache with all right we're gonna do that and we are going to move his mouth a little bit actually his mouth can stay on top of his mustache I think Yeah, that's fine, because his, I mean, yeah, his mustache is only not even skin deep. It's barely skin deep. It is skin deep? I don't know. If he just, if he's just changing the color of his skin, is his mustache skin deep? Uh, all right, all right, all right. That rug. Do a quick time check. All right, twelve fifteen almost. Oh, let me catch up on the the chat. Couple of okay, good, good, good. A galaxy sleeve. Wow. Yeah. I okay. All right. All right. I like the space themed tattoo thing. Um, hmm. I wonder if I could use this weird makeup palette texture pattern looking thing uh, in the sleeve. It kind of has a I don't know. Hmm. Because I still don't know where I'm going to put that in yet. I wonder if that... Maybe it just tattooed his head. Um, or maybe... Can't copy the mask. All right. Hmm. Uh, all right. Let's 
let's see if I can put this uh, this texture there as a tattoo. Uh, make it a little darker. It's almost the same color as his shirt, though. Maybe a little more saturated. No? There we go. That kind of looks all right. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see if we can make this happen. It's random shapes. He's gonna have the sleeve coming up, maybe. Next color, let's see. Okay, we'll get a lighter color in there. Let's get a little closer. Okay, a couple of those, and then... Look 
Got a bit of silver on him. know if this is going to end up looking anything like that that or that thing but we'll give it a shot Hmm, I feel like some of these aren't gonna be... It's like he's got purple camouflage on. He's just... He's got a... Tattooed on camo. Alright, I think these, oops, need.
Um, I have all four colors there. Actually, let's do this. That, there we go. That is good enough. Okay, that'll do for that, maybe. I'm gonna put the gold in there now, I think. Oop, oh, uh, I probably left, I don't know. Thank you, Marley Chat. Uh, Rising Smoke, how do you pronounce the zero in smoke? Uh, I'll just say it. Rising smoke. That seems right. Um, enjoy grocery shopping. Oh, maybe not. Sorry, my brain answered before I finished reading that. Um, yeah. See you guys later. Thank you. Thank you for coming on today. Hopefully, maybe we'll see each other every Tuesday. That would be sweet. Alright, our gold color here is kind of... Um, maybe we'll just make it super, super bright. I don't quite like that. If we do something like that... Um, and then come along and put like highlights on it. Hmm. All right, we'll see how that goes. Huh. What is all this? Oh man, cause I just, yeah, cause I just used the Oh man, let's not get in that close. That looks... Oh, how far out do I have to zoom to get rid of that? Alright, hang on. Let's, let's see if we can just... Probably not supposed to do it like that, but you know... We'll just go ahead and do that. Alright. Back to these things. <laughs> Actually, let's take a look real quick at this. So they are outlining all of the color blocks there. Okay, easy peasy. Oh, far too small. Thank you. Let's do that.
don't think I'm gonna end up liking this yellow. Oh, absolutely not. Okay. I'll do this on a separate layer just in case I really, really don't like it. Oh, sorry, not not ending. Um, yeah, there were a couple of people leaving, so I was saying goodbye. Um, excellent, people are working stuff, working on stuff in the background. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh, audio editing. That I'm glad somebody's doing that because. That is too repetitive for me. Repetitive, yeah, I don't know. It. I did a little bit of audio editing in school. It's cool to see like, I think, um, I like short TikTok videos of watching people craft their audio but it's, oh man, that is a job. I'm gonna have to come in through here and do quite a bit of cleanup on this.
don't know. Oh, man. I don't know if this pattern was quite. Maybe I could put some. It's almost like a tree texture, you know, tree bark texture through here. Maybe that's also a good way to incorporate that tree look. Ooh, I forgot. There we go.
do the one color with those little highlight things. I don't know. Maybe I'll come back and do another color. Who, who knows? Who knows? All right. Um, what time are we at? 12.45. Almost. Um, okay. All right. I don't know about you guys, but I probably need to get up and stretch a little bit. Um, yeah, so I think I think we'll we'll call it good for today. Um, I'll probably finish this up before next time, and then show you guys um, show you guys the the finished thing. Uh, maybe between now and next week, we'll we'll get that that Discord set up, um, and maybe we'll have another mood board character thing by the time next week rolls around. Um, are most of you on the... Okay. Most of you are on the, the Discord, right? If you're not, go check it out. Um, okay. I will ping you in the Discord. I'll have to learn all the Discord uh, lingo. I'm assuming that's just like a, like a message or something. Um, what is the Discord? That's a good... Oh, there we go. Thank you for the link. That is super helpful. Um, yeah. Okay. Got the link for the Discord. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens between now and Tuesday. Um, yeah. You guys enjoy your day. Uh, everyone, everyone, get up and go stretch. That seems like a good, a good thing. Yeah. Um, tomorrow there's got to be something going on. Typically on Wednesdays there's, there's a stream. So yeah. Um, yeah, stay tuned tomorrow and Friday, I believe we've got streams going on. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll learn, I'll learn the schedule as we go. Um, anyway, uh, cool. Okay. Bye guys. Maybe not. Hang on. It'll take me a minute to find this. Where is it? Um, okay. Now bye guys. Have a good day. <laughs>